What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and this beautiful little thing over here I call my wife, Sharice, Hello. come at you guys, bring you guys great tips, tricks, information that will hopefully help your relationship strive and reach a whole new level of greatness, <laughs> right? We don't want that level to be negative or down or anything of those sorts. Yeah. So we want to make sure we're helping you guys out giving it your best and giving you the best information that will hopefully, you know, enhance your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship now, don't worry. You guys can use this information for future relationships. Yeah, or to or obtain a relationship. Or to obtain a relationship, yes. right? A successful relationship. Because Correct. anybody can get a relationship, right? Yeah. And there's good relationships and there's toxic relationships. And you don't want to go from, you know, being by yourself, everything going good and getting into a toxic relationship either, right? Because that's yeah. just going to bring you down. You don't want that. So... Today we're going to talk about something I don't think we've ever talked about, um, and I think it's pretty vital to talk about because it's a new day and age. Yeah. This is a vital part of what goes on in everybody's daily routine. So let's talk about it. Social media <sighs> and your relationship, okay? So obviously, social media is out here. Now, when me and Sharice first you know, got together, we were talking so like lucky. that. We got so lucky. MySpace was still around, so it's been that long. Okay, it's been over what, like, um, like 14 years, pretty close to 15. Um, so MySpace was around, and I think the worst thing you had to worry about that was. I'm not in your top 10. Then it was top 20, and then why did you like? Why am I not on your profile picture? Yeah. 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 Why am I not on your cover picture? <laughs> <laughs> Remember these so, days? These are just some of the things that were happening in MySpace <laughs> days, right? And, you know, then it, everything has evolved in social media, Oh, obviously. my God, so terrible. And now we have, you know, Facebook and then, you know, Instagram, TikTok, you know, Twitter. All these different things are out there. Yeah, back then, too, you, like, you didn't, I mean, you had some of those, like, uh, Yeah, Twitter. Photo, and no, no, like, like, you had, like, the photo stuff where you could, yeah. like, make things, like, smoother and stuff like that. Yeah. Nowadays, you have, like, the whole, like, change your whole look thing. Yeah. Like, the app says change your face yeah okay the change your face app right and you press three buttons and all of a sudden you look like a like a supermodel right slimmer clear skin yeah you got you got your you got, you got, you got your tone. cheekbones are in you know <laughs> fat lips you got your eyebrows done eyelashes yeah. on we see you and it's like i'm sorry yeah like who is this person <laughs> like that's one thing i guess you yeah know, if you're gonna meet somebody on social media you better you do like facetime or something you, you, you know even on that on videos they can FaceTime? use these filters on i don't know about on facetime that's live but i'm saying like i know on some of the different things i know that, videos that they you can do, they can use yeah filters we've on. seen so, that <clears throat> um you know you definitely want to be able to see the person and know this the right person right um, you know, you're not getting some sort of false catfish. advertisement, catfish. catfish. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like it's somebody really like some six year old guy talking right. to you. You think it's like some 23 year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right? That sucks for people that have actually been to that experience. Oh, I mean, there's, I'm quite not, I'm not, there's quite a few. There's quite a few. There's going to be, I would bet a million dollars that at least, at least, and I'm being generous. I'd say at least 40% of you guys yeah. have been through that. Yeah. And you know, since you know, since the nineteen thing and all that in the last couple of years, obviously people were locked down and they couldn't get out. So, you know, what was the way that people met each other? They were meeting people online. Time, whether yeah. it was dating apps or they were having online dates and or, or Instagram or Facebook, they're in the DMs, I mean, all day. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just something that, you know, it's a part of our everyday life, right? And and you're if you're in a relationship, so you still have these accounts. And at that point, you know, are people DMing you, right? On, these are some slide, fine right? lines, right? guys. And some are you responding lines. to these DMs? And, or, and if you do you know, respond, what are you that? saying? This is true, right? You know? So, you know, that's, that's one aspect of things. Like, you know, it's just changed tremendously as far as most of everything is online anymore. You know, people aren't really asking people out on dates. 
Um, they're not doing like the old chivalry thing like we used to do. You say, hey, listen, you know, if you like the girl, you got all nervous, but you went up and you asked her, like, hey, listen. Right, and like real life. Hey, you want to go do something sometime? Now, you now you're something? like a like a keyboard pimp. And now, yeah, you're, yeah <laughs> you literally can, literally, literally, you have like a good, maybe a couple, three sentences, and then you blast it out and you hit the numbers. You play the numbers game. I'm sorry? And if you happens? play the numbers game, it does work. You will come back with something. I Whether you so. like it or not, or something crazy, or something. Copy and paste must work great for you guys. But copy and paste does work for a lot of people <laughs> out there. But I do see a lot of girls, right, call people out because, you know, this person doesn't know that these three girls are friends and writes all through the exact same message. And at that point, then, then writes them back like, hey, listen, you we wrote my girlfriend, Jessica, this message again. And then you're caught up. But, I mean, the whole thing with social media, you know, to the day, like, if you're in a relationship... You got to make sure that, you know, you're not doing anything that's going to disrespect your relationship, right? Mm. Or you're feeding into people disrespecting your relationship. Because when you put yourself out there, and some people have private profiles, or some people have wide open profiles, like me and Sharice, because, you know, business and all the other mm. stuff. You know, people will go on there, and they will definitely try to push the envelope in some way, shape, well, We've had that happen. Been right? there, done that. You know, they'll say something about Sharice, something about me, whatever it is. Um, and you got to shut that stuff down right away, mm -hmm. right? If you don't shut it down, you cannot entertain it. Or you're it'll inviting be a, them to do more and more. It, it'll be a problem. And, uh, you know, since people aren't in front of you, you know, where you can, you know, punch them in the mouth or, or check them, at that point, you know, they're being keyboard games. And they're just there. eating their popcorn they're while they're getting a like, kick out oh, of you, like, getting a rise out of you. They're right? trolling you and all this other good stuff. And they're trolling your relationship or might do other things. And then on the other aspect, if you're in a relationship, let's say you're a guy or a girl. You better not be trying to sneak or being creepy with somebody else because at that point you can get busted out real quick. And guys, then that always <laughs> guys, that always surfaces. I, I, I don't know what you guys think or like why you think deleting something is going to magically delete itself. No. People screenshot things. Yes. People, you know, send things to other yes. people. Yes. So even if it got deleted off both accounts, now all of a sudden, you know, you know, Jennifer yeah. down the street has it because she. You know, not, now they can hold that against you. So, you know, we always think about what can they hold against you? Don't do For it, right? For sure, you know. But, you know, the biggest thing, I mean, even me and John have a very different relationship because I am crazy. At least I can admit it. And I've come to terms. He's come to terms. He's accepted me for who I am. And he loves me. So that is amazing. I can't say that's going to happen for all of you out there. So I'm just lucky. But, you know, I'm crazy. So, you know, if I see a girl that writes John or something like that, you know, I might either A, jump in myself, which I haven't done in a while because I haven't had to, thank goodness. Back in the day, though, that, that, was, that was funny. <laughs> I used to write back on John's behalf, and then they would think it was John, and you know, I wasn't writing nice things. But we won't talk about that. We'll move on. You don't want to be in this situation, right? So don't invite these things into your yeah. inbox, right? So let's just say there is somebody that writes you, and you're like, okay, I don't want to be in trouble for this. I don't want to have any problems or whatever. And you can't help if somebody writes you, right? You can't make someone not write you. So you can block them. You can block them, right? But that's but after they probably remove Make them go them. away. Right. Don't write, don't respond to them. Like, right. don't say anything back to them. Like, that's, that's how you start up problems, right? And I mean, the next thing that kind of rolls into this is that if you are in a relationship, and this is my personal opinion, I definitely think that you should have some sort of content or like pictures on your you know social media platform mm. of your significant other whether it's on your story or it's on your cover page you know maybe you don't want it as your profile picture fine whatever but i mean do i think you should have some like you know static posts out there with a girlfriend if you're really serious about a girlfriend yeah. or a boyfriend whatever it is or your husband or fiance don't be married for 10 years and then make it look like you're not married on social media because right. i feel like that's literally like nine out of ten people yep like it's nine out of ten people. Like you, we all know you're married, but where is your husband? Right. Like they're just like, right. they're gone. They're not even there. It's so strange. Yeah, like it's, it's it can definitely it can be disheartening to your partner too. Like, it is. Like like are you, they not proud of me? Are they ashamed of me? Right? Like, are, why you are you hiding you doing me this? Like, or why? You know, and that brings up other questions like what's going on? Mm -hmm. Like you know, like I said, like if you're not putting me out there, like what are you doing? You know. So, you know, it's, it's something that you should definitely be proud of. If you're proud of your partner and stuff like that, or you're with somebody, you're probably going to have some pictures of you guys, whether it's a formal occasion, you guys going out, a movie, dinner. A car. I mean, aren't you guys doing something together? I mean, if not, then I guess you're not in a relationship, right? right. So if you're in a relationship, you're going to be doing something together, I would guess. And, and if you do that something, you'd want to capture that moment and, and then share. And I see it on both pages, right? I see it on guys' pages and girls' pages where... 
they're at the exact same event, and one takes a selfie of themselves by themselves. And they crop they, it. And they crop it out. I'm like, why did you do that? Like, yeah, why did you, you do know? that? And I know there's a lot of Instagram models out there or might be doing OnlyFans, and that's fine, too. And you want it to be like, hey, listen, I'm single. That's what I'm trying to, like, purvey out there. But, you know, that's going to come back to your partner, too, as well. They're going to they're gonna be heard about it, I guess, to a certain extent. Maybe they, they aren't. Maybe they accept it. Maybe there's, a, there's some I'm some sure there are out people there out there problem. that don't have an issue with yeah, it. Yeah, they don't have a problem. However, I mean, I'm going to speak for some of the females and even the males out there that won't open their mouth and say something. I mean, if you're not being shown out on your social media platforms, I would definitely be asking questions and be like, okay, so what's the issue? Like, do you not want people to know about me? Or like, you know, I can understand if you've only known somebody for like a month or two. Mm -hmm. If you guys been together a couple of years, eh, yeah, I better see my face on your profile yep. somewhere. And then there's gonna be <laughs> there's gonna be other like telltales to your your partner, I guess, too. So let's say you get into the relationship in the beginning, everything's hot and heavy first couple of months. You guys are taking pictures together all over the place. Now a year later happens, there's nothing like that in sight. But you, you guys know? are still together. But you guys are still together. And you really don't care to take any pictures together or post it out there. And it's just a natural thing too because Right, yeah, it's too you super know, natural. You go Whatever through different we... holidays together, different experiences together, even if you're just hanging out on the weekend by the beach. You're literally right? taking a picture, let's take a picture. Gonna, yeah, I mean that's that's a natural thing to do, right? And it's natural to be proud of this. Right. Right. So at that point, you know, you want to make sure that you're doing this. And if you're not doing this and you're doing what we're saying not to do, it's a red flag for somebody else in the relationship to really look at like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And what's the problem? Here? Yeah. And you know? whatever excuses you guys want to come up with, like at the end of the day, I don't care if you're in the club industry, restaurant industry, medical industry, right. sales industry, only fan, whatever industry you're right. in, right? If you have a significant other that you're proud of and that you're happy to be with and that everybody should know about, because listen, the more you put it out there that you're with somebody, this typically is the It's going to detour problems from coming it's, at you. It's not the other way around. Right. I feel like people have said that. It's not. When you put it out there, it does detour. the thing like, oh, they're with somebody. Let me not, you know, this is not an open gig. you got two types of people out there. People that want to chase what they can't have and somebody else has. So there are people out there. I'll kill you. Like, right? Yeah. Or like even girlfriends. I know girls like this. They talk a lot, right? And then the girlfriend's like, oh, my, my boyfriend, he's so good. He does all this to me. He's so good in bed, whatever. And then they want that. And then they're like, Oh, and then they'll try to like purvey and try to bust their way in. So, exactly. you know, it's just something you can do just to be something to be aware of. But definitely put your, your partner out there. You know, you should be proud of them and, um, and, and your relationship, right? So this is just some of the aspects of social media. I'm sure we're going to cover uh, some more topics about social, social media. media is a whole other there's story. so much stuff to cover, guys. <laughs> but guys, stay tuned for more great Titan Medical Center, Cupid's Corner, every Sunday here on ABC at 11 a.m. And guys, if you can't watch it live, DVR it. You can watch it anytime at your home. Also, if you didn't DVR it, don't worry. Just go to YouTube, click, click the subscribe button, hit the not all notification bell, and you'll see all the Cupid's Corners and all the other great content that me and Therese have for you and Titan Medical Center all together. So we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday for another great Cupid's Corner. See you then.